How to get started in coin collecting. Are you inquiring about coin collecting? Did you know that coins are graded accordingly to determine the authenticity and quality of coins? If you're not aware of precisely how coin grading works following our information and facts about how the art started and how and why it is done. The hobby of coin collecting began its attraction in America in the mid-19th century. Earlier the coins are graded by the appearance of the coins. The coins were evaluated as good fine and very fine. To better describe the coin stealers resorted to make use of the phrase barely circulated. However the term is vague and subjective. Nearly everyone is confused whether to categorize the coins into this category thus it was obviously applied inconsistently. Throughout the 20th century numismatists and coin dealer like Howland Wood tried to find a more desirable and standardized terms of coin grading. In 1948 Dr. William H. Sheldon a known collector of early sense pioneered the system of coin grading that changed the concept of coin collecting. He started the accurate method of assessing the coins by using the scale of 170. The grading system uses a 70 point system which also has several subdivisions based on the coin. Obviously coins that are totally broken down are categorized under par 1. However a non plus ultra me 70 grade was reserved for coins that almost have impossibly high standards of excellence and luster. Other categories assigned to coins are good very good fine very fine extremely fine about uncirculated average mint state choice mint state and gem mint state. Dr. William H. Sheldon's grade descriptions remain useful today and are useful as being the general guide for coin grading. Knowing the grade of the coin is exceedingly important. Although it is recommended to be aware that it has nothing to do with all the rarity and antiquity of the given coin. Grading is in fact an art. It's not a science that needs standard or precise demarcation. It serves as a guideline. Grading coins have several benefits. A few of its known advantages are listed below. The coin is protected because it's placed in an encapsulated holder. Graded coins usually can be found in case tamper-proof clear plastic slabs. Grading is often done by two individuals. These individuals may judge the coins after assessing each coin carefully. As of today there is no standard accepted set of grades however most of the time Dr. Sheldon's grading system is used and that is comprehensible and really basic. Normally the coins are inspected by your naked eye. Then the coins are examined carefully with a special scientific device just like a microscope or magnifying glass. Today a greater number of people are investing in coins due to historical and monetary values. In Pravimpa's times people belonging to the royal families would be the only ones who were able to afford such hobby. In the 19th century as the hobby grows in number as well as in character many began to gauge the value of the coins using graded systems. They grade coins based on subjective viewpoint. However many things have changed ever since that day and now people of all classes and parts of society possibly can collect coins. The art of coin grading are still evident and it will go on to become visible until a more scientific analysis is discovered to grade coins objectively.